All right, I'm getting ready to do another cold wax painting and I'm starting to mix my palette and uh, I have white and black. And then I'm gonna uh, mix various shades of value in this first row. I already have my cold wax here on each pile and it's about 50%. That's about what I use um, is 50% uh, cold wax and 50% oil. So I'm gonna mix this up. This is going, going to be my lightest value right here. Make sure I get wax into all of the paint. And I'm using a cafeteria tray as my palette with freezer paper on it. And then what I do at the end of the day or at the end of my working session, I will put another cafeteria tray on top of it and that will keep it fresh. Okay, now that's my lightest. Now I'm gonna make a light gray, a dark gray, and the black. So I'm gonna add a little bit well, let me mix up my black first. A lot of oil in that pile. I might have to use some more cold wax, and I can, I can, I do, because it's very shiny. You want to mix your cold wax up. Keep putting cold wax into it until all of the shine is gone, and that little bit of black had a lot of wax in it. I mean, a lot of oil in it, so. Okay, I'm going to wipe my palette, or wipe my palette knife. That little bit of black on here might be all I need for on here, we'll see. But I do want a light gray. Yeah, I think this is gonna be perfect. down just a little bit and you'll understand why later. Okay, put that back down. Alrighty, now in the next pile, I'm gonna make a darker gray. So we'll add a little bit more black. I might have to add more black, we'll see. I think we'll probably end up adding a little bit more black. Yep, it's, these two values are too close. So I'm gonna get a little bit more black put into it. I want a definite value change. Even more black. better. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, now, just remember you want four values from white to black and to, uh, uh, light gray, dark gray, and black. I'm going to wipe this off and I'm going to add my next color. Now these are going to be um, this is going to be a limited palette. So, and this is uh, Charvin's, what's the color of this? Lagoon Blue, which is more of a turquoise. And you can get Charvin from uh, Jerry's. Jerry's is the only place that sells this particular brand. And I, I, I do like it a lot. can see it Charvin. I'm going to add about 50% color. Just a little bit more. I'm 
I'm gonna mix that up. This is going to be pure color. Not a pretty color. And I have a little bit more color than I do wax, so I have to go in and get some more wax. Still need more wax. Because it's still shiny. This should do it. And one nice thing about the cold wax, it doubles the size of your oil paint. So, that's a good thing. And it also gives you lots of texture. Gives you translucency of your colors. Okay, now, I'm going to add this into the white and the cold wax to get a light shade or light value of this Lagoon Blue. Next color, so this was mixed with white. This was mixed, was the original color was mixed with white to get the light color. And then I'm gonna take the original color again, add it into here, and then mix that with gray. So I'm gonna get a little bit of gray and add that in here. And that will, tone down that blue a little bit it won't be quite as pure because it has the black in it. It is different from this, however. This is brighter. This is l less bright or duller. And then I'm going to take again the original color, put it there, and take the darker gray and see what we get. I think I took too much of a dark gray. I'm gonna have to put more blue and lagoon with some of the original color back into it. It's a blue gray and that's not ex And if that's what you're shooting for, that's fine. But I do wanna add just a little bit more blue into this. Yeah, now this is a better color. I think. This is kind of a neutral of that Lagoon Blue. Pretty, pretty, pretty shade. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now I'm going to take some more of the Lagoon Blue and I'm going to add it into the black. And it's going to be a blue black. I'm going to need more Lagoon Blue. I can see that right now. I had too much black there. Probably have to mix up more of that Lagoon Blue. Yeah, I have way too much black into, into here, so just remember that when you are mixing. Try not to add so much black. That's about as blue as I'm gonna get that. It's similar, but it has a blue cast to it. You know what? I'm going to add more blue to it. I'm just not happy with that color. Even that, even that that I just added didn't make that much difference, did it? Okay. I'm tired of fooling with it, so I'm going to leave it be. I might add more blue to it later. Now, with that said, I have to go back here to my Lagoon Blue and make some more Lagoon Blue. Here's my wax. Okay, 
now I'm going to go on to my next color. The next color is going to be the Oxidine Purple by Gamblin. here. Too much, I have to add more wax. Some of your colors have more oil in it than others and you have to use a little bit more than 50%. And that's what's happening here. Okay, there's my purple. Now, I'm thinking that's going to be enough for this because I want a light purple now that I'm going to mix it with white. And I already had my cold wax there. Mix it up good. I'm going to add some purple and some light gray. Let's see what I get. Need a little bit more of that light gray. Now this is going to be similar to that, but it's going to be duller. But I think I'm going. I need to add more gray into it to make it duller. Very similar. So I'm going to add even more gray. Very similar, but a little bit duller, not a lot. But add, I'm just not happy with that. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to add more some color to this one. This is the purple. Just some dark gray. See what we have. There's a definite difference between this and that. So I'm, so I'm happy with this now. It's definitely different than all three. This one, is, this one is the one, or maybe I need to put more white into that. I think I'm gonna put more white into that. Maybe that's my problem. Okay, now I can see a difference between the three. I don't know if you can see it on the screen or not, but in person I can definitely see the difference. Now I'm going to add, the black is already there, so I need some purple. And you know what? I'm gonna take some of that black away because I had too much black in that, so. I'm gonna add that to this.
Now let's mix this up. Now this look definitely looks like a purple black. So I am happy with that. Okay, now what we're going to do with the, with the fourth row, there's going to be four, uh, four rows all together. White, light gray, dark gray, black. Turquoise or lagoon blue, light blue, medium blue, darker blue, and black. And the, the, this is mixed with white to get that, this with light gray to get that, this with dark gray to get that, this with the black to get that. Then I did the exact same thing with this row. So this is the purple with white to get that, purple with gray to get that, purple with dark gray to get that, and then purple with black to get that. Now my last row is going to be these two last two rows combined. So I'm gonna take some purple and some blue to get a color. Now I can either go more purple or more blue. It's my decision and I think I want it to be more purple. So I'm gonna add more blue to it. I mean, excuse me, I want it to be more blue than purple. Still need some more blue. Purple is such a strong color. Okay, this is better. So I'm gonna to have to remember that when I go to mix my next pile. I want very little purple and more blue. Very little purple. And then some blue. See what we get. Very beautiful color. But I'm again, I'm gonna add more blue to it because it still has a purple cast. shade. Beautiful color right there. But just remember that you start out with white to black with two shades of gray. Then you go into with your first color with white to get that. This color with light gray to get that. This color with dark gray to get that. This color with the black to get that. Purple with white to get that purple with light gray to get that, purple with dark gray to get that, purple with black to get that. And then I'm combining these two rows. I'm finished with the white to black value. I'm going to combine these two to get that, these two for that, these two for that, these two for that, these two for that. So that is your limited palette. Uh, again, and I used uh, the Oxazine uh, Purple by Gamblin and Charvon um, Lagoon Blue, which is more of a turquoise color. And my white that I use that I really like is Flake Light, Flake White Replacement by Gamblin. And the black uh, is some extras that I had, and that is just a, a, a lamp black. So that's how I mix my palette. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, what I'm going to work on is Arches oil paper. And of when I, I'm taping my edges down and I want to put it right on the edge of the paper so I can get an even margin. It's a little bit of white showing here, so I'm gonna cover that up. Just a hair. What you want to do is go over your edge really, really, really good with your nail so your paint doesn't seep down under. Sometimes it will anyway, but you have a better chance at really getting that edge down really good. I'm gonna go over it a second time, just to be sure. Okay, I 
know that's down pretty good now. I'm gonna do it over here so this corner doesn't turn up on me. There, that's better. And I'm gonna do this just so this corner doesn't turn up on me. I like things to be flat. So hopefully it will be. That's better. Now, um, you can, I don't know if you can see that line. I have an eight by 10 mat and I wanna be sure that I can cover this. So I, that's why I put this line here. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here I'm gonna put a line here. That way I know where to make my, uh, where to put my tape. And this, I should put here. This was over too far. So now I'm going to put tape down the middle and I will be sure to have my sizes right. I'm gonna get two paintings out of this. So I'm gonna put a tape right here there. Right here. And right there. Now I'm going to measure that just to be on the safe side. They should be five by seven. it's easier when I go to mat it. So I want, and I didn't take my fingernail over this or over that. So what I should have done is I put my mat down and drawn where my mat is. And then that would have been the easier way, but I didn't do it that way. So it's, gonna, it's going to be a little different. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my first coat down and then I'm going to let it dry for a minute or two. And I think I'm going to use Molotov Art Crayon. I don't know if you can see that. It's the crayons that I use all the time. And this is very similar to that Lagoon Blue. So I'm just gonna draw didn't really think that much. Yeah, I'm not thinking at all. And I think I'm also going to do it in I have a black Sharpie. I use a black Sharpie. marks down. I don't know if it'll show or not, but we'll, we're, we're, I'm gonna put them down anyway. Make them a little different than the other. Make them thicker. Connect it to that. Yeah, I like that. Let's connect this one to that. And fill it in. It probably won't even show anyway. But that's okay. I'm gonna cover this in black. Fill that in there with black. And 
fill this in with black right here. I was thinking a little bit and didn't really want to do that, but there we go. Just kind of playing now. Let's make that on an angle. Yeah, I like that. I need something up here. There. Down. Now I'm going to put color down on top of that. And I'm just going to use my brayer so I can do it real, real thin. And put it down. And I think I'm going to go with dark. I'm going to use my straight Lagoon Blue. Get the excess color off. Can you see how transparent that is? Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. I want to get to the edges real good. So that's my first layer. So I'm going to let this set up for about, I, I think only for about 10 minutes because it dried.